I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this is Chase the Heat. Don't you love corking on a jalapeno? Just incredible looking. You know, the first time I thought that, saw corking on a jalapeno, I thought there was something wrong with it. I didn't know. Um, I still don't know a lot about it. Some people think it changes the flavor, the heat or whatever, I'm not really sure. This is a Zapotec jalapeno grown by Jimmy Pickles. Let me tell you a little bit about the Zapotec. Zapotec jalapeno is an old heirloom variety from Oaxa, Mexico, cultivated over generations and likely dating back to the time of the Aztecs. Uh, the variety boasts excellent flavor, good production, uh, hotter than average jalapeno heat. Zapotec jalapenos are becoming a must-grow variety for jalapeno lovers. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Just such a pretty pepper. I remember, true story, I remember seeing jalapenos in a store that had corking and avoiding them because I thought something was wrong with them. You live and then you learn. Now, this is a, jalapenos are a thick walled pepper. Oh, it smells so good. There you go. Look at that. Thick wall, big placenta that almost covers the most of the pod. Robbie Vision. Robbie Robertson, you're amazing, dude. I want you to know that. All right, guys, so this is the Zapotec uh, jalapeno grown by Jimmy Pickles. I'm Johnny Scoble, and this is Chase the Heat. It's the sweetest jalapeno I've ever had. Very unusual. I don't ever, ever remember tasting a jalapeno that sweet before. They have that green, kind of fresh flavor. Most jalapenos, this is sweet. That was so sweet that if I was blindfolded and I ate that, I wouldn't have known it was a jalapeno. I don't think. Super sweet. Very odd. Now, as far as the, the heat on it, you know, it's really weird. Anytime you talk about the heat of a jalapeno, it's so weird because jalapenos are all over the board when it comes to the heat, you know? Sometimes they're very mild like a pickle, and sometimes they're almost habanero heat. Um, so it's kind of weird, but that Seems like a very average heat uh, jalapeno. One best tasting jalapeno I think I've ever had. It was incredibly sweet. Um, man, that would be such a. I'd love to like cook some of those on a stove, blacken them up. I bet they'd be so good. Um, so if you're not accustomed to heat and you're not a chili head, this is still something you could dabble in. You wouldn't want to eat the whole thing. You could just cut a sliver off it and get an idea of the flavor and some of the heat. Um, one of us on the bus, low heat, maybe a, maybe a three or four, maybe a four, but the flavor on it, like if you've never had, I think I've had a Zapotec jalapeno before. I just don't ever remember tasting jalapeno that sweet. Really incredible. Okay, we're going to wrap it up today. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys had a great day. Let's make it a wonderful evening. In the description box, you're going to see a link for Jimmy Pickles. Please, uh... Check out his seeds. He has some great seeds. Um, he isolates his pods. Also, go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, you can see his operation. But he puts netting over all of his plants so that the pollen can't cross-pollinate. Um, so when you buy seeds from him, you're going to grow what he says you're going to grow. That's kind of a cool thing. So check Jimmy out in the description box right there is the pepper. 
if you click that pepper, you're on the bus and we're doing this together. If you don't want to miss a video because spicy content is your jam, then click the bell for notification. A Dropbox will appear, select all, but come back and visit us daily because YouTube forgets to send out notifications a lot. Right there is League of Fire, more videos here. I'm Johnny Scovel, this was Chase the Heat.